Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question, how do I create a JDBC provider and data source in WebSphere Application Server? Expand Resources, JDBC, then click JDBC Providers. Select the scope. Click New. Select the database. Select the provider type. Select the implementation type. Choose XA data source if your application requires connections that support two-phase commit transactions. Enter the JDBC provider name. Click Next. In the Class Path field, type the full path to the location of the database JDBC driver JAR files. If you decide to use the WebSphere variables, ensure that the variables are defined with the right path under the Environment section, WebSphere Variables. Click Finish. Save and synchronize the changes. To create the data source, click Data Sources. Choose the same scope as the JDBC Provider Scope and click New. Enter the data source name and the JNDI name. Select the newly created JDBC provider and click Next. Select Driver Type and provide the database name and the server name. Choose the existing J2C authentication alias. The J2C authentication alias contains the database username and password. If an existing J2C authentication alias is not available, you might have to click Global J2C Authentication Alias, Create the Authentication Alias, and start the data source creation again. Click Finish. Save and synchronize the changes. Select the data source and click Test Connection to ensure that the data source can connect to the database. If the test is successful, then the data source is ready to be used by an application. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.